Welcome to another edition of the CS Podcast, where you can hear interviews with special guests such as Dayon Buchanan, Tom Waddle, Pierre Desir, Brent Barry, Ed Werder, and many others. Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. So be sure to subscribe and tune in to the CS Podcast on YouTube at youtube.com slash christianre722. Did you not get the memo? That's www.youtube.com slash christianre722. For great interviews, be sure to check out the CS Podcast. You are ridiculous! Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Shanfell, and I'm now joined by 2014 NFL Draft Prospect quarterback out of Ball State, Keith Wenning. Thanks so, thanks so much for joining the show, Keith. How's it going? It's going good. Thanks for having me on. Hey, the pleasure is all mine, and we're going to be talking about your college football career, Keith, and throughout your four years uh, of being the starting quarterback at Ball State, uh, you've thrown for over 1,100 yards, 11,000 yards, I'm sorry, 92 passing touchdowns and 13 rushing touchdowns. You hold a number of school records, and you're actually the first player in Ball State history to pass for over 10,000 yards. How exactly would you describe the success that you've had at Ball State? You know, it's been a great four years here. Um, You know, I came in. Uh, as a freshman, you know, with a, with a mindset, um, you know, I wanted to play right away. I wanted to, um, you know, learn as much as possible as I as I uh, could early on. And uh, you know, being being that Ball State was the only uh, college that gave me um, a Division One scholarship to play quarterback. You know, in my mind, that was all, um, all I needed was that that, that one shot. Um, you know, to come here to play football. So. Uh, it started back when I was a freshman with the mindset of coming in and trying to uh, learn and get better every day and be satisfied with any any success at all. And uh, you know, I kept that in my mind. I felt like that that helped me and uh, benefited me uh, throughout my four years at Ball State. Absolutely, you've had so much success there. And coming into this past season, the 2013 season, what were your personal expectations, knowing that it'll be your final chance to prove to everybody that you can indeed play at the next level in the NFL? Um, you know, I, I tried to, you know, a lot of people would ask about that, but I tried to just keep that, you know, you know, not not in my, um, you know, focus. I tried to just focus on us as a team, um, us as an offense, and then, uh, you know, our goals um, headed in into the year were the you know, MAC championship and a bowl game. Um, you know, we were unfortunate we didn't make the MAC, MAC championship, um, but, you know, it was the best year that Ball State's had, and in quite some time, um, you know, we had a chance to, to go to a bowl game, and so that was one goal that we, we accomplished. Um, but those, were, those were my main focuses. I wasn't focused on, you know, after the season, all that kind of stuff. I tried to live for the moment and uh, you know, worry about uh, my teammates and coaches and you know, do what was best um, for us as a, as a program. Keith, you finished last season with over 4,100 passing yards, 35 touchdowns, and only seven interceptions. You also had five rushing touchdowns, and you guys finished the season 10 and three. Like you said, you made a bowl game appearance, uh, just a heartbreaking loss, 23 to 20 to Arkansas State in the Go Daddy Bowl. Uh, but to say you went out with a bang is an understatement, in my opinion. How exactly would you describe this final year of uh, college football that you had? You know, it was a great year. Um, you know, it started back from. You know, after the bowl game last year, uh, we we didn't take much time off at all. I think it was just a couple of days. We got right back into it as far as um, you know, doing extra stuff as far as testing and, and running and all our winter conditioning and the spring ball and the summer and the camp. Um, you know, we did more than um, what was asked of us as as players. Um, you know, as far as you know, after lifting, we would go throw and do extra stuff on our own. You know, almost every day, and uh, I think that really. Um, you know, benefited us uh, come Saturday or whatever day our game was uh, throughout the season, and that was just that mentality helped us. Um, you know, throughout the spring, throughout summer, throughout camp, um, and it helped us uh, to win some tough ball games throughout the year. Keith, I know over the summer you were able to work out with Drew Brees. Do you feel that he was able to teach you anything specific to help you perform the way you did last season? Um, I don't know if he taught me anything specific um, while I was out there. Um, you know, more so just just working with them and uh, being another being another quarterback with with him and about four or five other guys. Um, seeing his work ethic, how detailed he is. You know, just during a summer workout, how how much detail he puts into everything was something. 
something that, you know, I kind of see myself doing that every once in a while and stuff, and how I, I can see myself, um, you know, following, following his footsteps as, as far as how he uh, prepares himself and that kind of thing. So that was a great experience. It was great to go out there and work, work out with him. And, uh, um, you know, I think it definitely benefited me. Being the quarterback for Ball State, uh, being in the MAC every year, you would go up against Northern Illinois, who has, who's uh, had a lot of success under quarterback Jordan Lynch. As a quarterback yourself, what are your thoughts on Lynch's game, and uh, do you think he could be a successful quarterback in the NFL? Yeah, first off, he is, he's a great person. Um, I actually trained with him this, this all once the season was over for the combine and um, the upcoming draft and everything the last uh, couple months. So. That we got to work, we had a chance to work together um, every day, and you know he's a he's a great person with a great personality, and he's a hard worker. Um, I think he he definitely has some uh, characteristics and and traits that he can bring to um, a football organization, and I think he'll be successful. Um, so you know, going up against Northern, and they were always a tough team. They were great, great in uh, every position played. Um, they had great coaches. And they were well prepared, so you know it was a battle every every uh, year that we played them. You gotta love the talent that's coming out of the MAC this year. That's gonna be entering the 2014 NFL Draft. Chris Shanfell talking with 2014 NFL Draft prospect quarterback out of Ball State, Keith Wenning. And Keith, can you tell us what it was like to spend some time in St. Petersburg, Florida, a couple of months ago with many other NFL Draft prospects from all types of different schools to participate in the East West Shrine Game? Yeah, it was a great opportunity. Um, you know, being down there and, and being with some, some big time guys and uh you know, just coming together as a team and learning a new offense and with some new coaching stuff. It was a good good experience. Um not everybody gets a opportunity and chance to do that. Um so that was something that I was I was grateful for. And uh, you know, it was fun down there, you know, like I said, learning new offense and learning new plays and, and you have new guys around you and meeting with them and, and playing with them. It was a great experience and and definitely uh, something I really enjoyed. And a little over a month ago, we had the NFL Combine where you continue to uh, turn some heads. Many scouts attended both the Shrine Game and the NFL Combine. Any chance you were able to meet with any of them? And if so, what are they saying about Keith Wenning? You know, I did. Um, I think it's like Shrine and the Combine. You meet with a lot of, a lot of scouts and a lot of coaches and a lot of uh, personnel for different teams. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, you meet with them, they talk about as far as being a quarterback, they uh, talk about um, you know just the game. They want to understand what you know about the game. They want to uh, pick your brain and, and see how how much knowledge you have and how how fast you can pick things up. So that was something that uh, um, the meetings and all that kind of stuff that was involved with when you met with them. All right, Keith, just a few more questions, then I'll let you go. I really do appreciate your time, man. Uh, I'll start back up with when exactly did you find out that, you know, maybe playing in the NFL might not only be a dream, but it could definitely become a reality? Um, I'm not sure if it was a specific time. Um, you know, it's always, it's always been a dream of mine. It's always been something that, that I've been working towards. Um, I said it has to be sometime in college, you know, just – it's a lot of success, and, you know, you hear a lot of people, um, you know, say things, and you see a lot of scouts and, and all that kind of stuff coming to your practices and watching you, and I think then it's when I realized, um, you know, this is, this is real. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's exciting, it's, it's a blessing, and, uh, you know, I'm so grateful to have great coaches and great teammates along my side um, to help me, uh, you know, in every, every way possible. If you would compare yourself to a quarterback currently playing in the NFL today, who do you think that would be and why? That's funny that you asked that. I just got asked um, that same question yesterday. <laughs> um, the thing is, I don't think you can compare yourself to one specific player. Um, everybody, I feel like, has their own attributes and is different. Um, but like, like I said earlier, I think um, my work ethic is it has to be similar to, to Drew Brees in the aspect of the way he attacks the game and the way he is so detailed in, in everything that he does. I feel like I'm similar to that, and uh, yeah, that's my mindset when I, when I play the game of football. 
Hey, man, one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL, a Super Bowl winning champion, so you definitely cannot go wrong with that. Final question for you, Keith. Uh, let's say there's an NFL general manager out there listening to this very interview. Why should he want Keith Wenning, quarterback, out of Ball State on his team? Well, first off, um, you know, I feel like my work, work ethic is, is off the charts. Um, you know, a, a team that gives me an opportunity to, uh, to be with an organization is going to get a leader um, at, the, at the quarterback position. You have to be the leader of the offense. And a leader of the team, in my opinion, um, that's that's a big, a big uh, you know, position. So I feel like I'm, I'm capable of doing that. You know, all eyes are going to be on you and everything that you do. So you have to be the same person on the field as you are off the field. You can't have you know two different two different roles there. Um, you know, I feel like uh, I make like my my teammates around me more successful. You know, when I'm, when I'm playing the game of football, I'm trying to make the guys around me successful. And that's going to make our team successful. So I think uh, if, I, if someone gives me a chance to, to be part of their organization, then they're not going to think twice um, once, once I step on the field and um, in their organization and, and see what I can do. Keith, congratulations on a very successful college football career, man. It's been a pleasure watching you throw touchdowns to Willie Sneed over the years. I got to say, two of my favorite NFL draft prospects, and I got to say it has been an honor speaking with you, and I'm wishing you nothing but the best, man. Take care. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning into the CS Podcast. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out all of my past interviews at www.youtube.com slash ChristianRE722. Once again, that's www.youtube.com slash ChristianRE722. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Chris Shanifel.